hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is not enough dedicated vram on this gpu when there is enough vram on the gpu now the troubleshooting is applicable if you have enough vram and your graphic card is uh, like supported to play this game and you you have enough vram then you can follow the steps shown in this video now to fix it the first step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings over here and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file so open binaries select this exe file click on add find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game and over here select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here and then you can check now desktop users connect your hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot so if your computer has a dual graphic card one is like integrated other is dedicated uh, you can uh, connect your hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot disable integrated graphic card now for this you can make a right the start menu go to device manager now expand display adapter over here and if your computer has a dual graphic card here you can see in my case it's intel so you can make a right click and then click on disable device and then you can launch the game and then check once you are done playing the game you can make a right click you can enable the device once again now the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver now for this if you have amd card go to amd website if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and your operating system then click on find and then click on now on this page you will see the latest geforce game ready driver whichever is the latest you can click on view and then click on download once the download is complete run this exe file and then click on yes to allow click on okay and then select and click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then check so that should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel